All right, eighth graders. We're working on lesson seven three, right? Is it seven three? Yeah. Where we've been uh, solving systems through the elimination method. Here's an example um, where you get opposite terms that you can add and to eliminate one of the variable terms. Now, this next section, the directions are to choose a method. So we've covered the graphing method. We've covered what else? Elimination method and substitution, substitution method, right. Now, when, when did we say it works well to use the elimination method? Um, all the time. It tells no. you to. When, when what tells you to? When, when the book. No. Well, when, eliminate a variable. when you can easily eliminate a variable. When you've got uh, variable terms that you can easily or simply get opposites of. Okay? Um, like when we were doing uh, these, you could multiply both numbers by two. Yeah, that makes it take, or take one of them, multiply it by two, and get it to get the opposite term. Something like that, right? Let's take a look at this first one, 23. Let's do this one together. Actually, let me go back and um, let's use one with a graph. So just in case we want to graph this, I forgot how to do that. Number so 23. What is the system we're working with? Give me the read the system for me. Oh, y equals 2x. Y equals 2x and y equals x minus 1. Y equals x minus 1. Okay? So of the of the methods, look at these two equations. Which one would be graph? You want to graph this one? Yeah, it's easy. Mm -hmm. These are easy to graph, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the um, what's one of the points that zero. would fit this? Zero. zero, zero, right? And two over one. So y <coughs> zero zero. Two over one. And then yeah, this is the slope, isn't it? So up two over one. Down two left one. Here's our line, right? And then this one? How can we graph this one? Yes? X is zero. Well, actually, it's one. I'm sorry. Never mind. What's, what's B? B is negative one. So that's the y intercept. And we go up one over one. Up one over one is the slope, right? Do you remember this? Yes. Okay. So. Up one, over one, down one, left one. You see these dots right here? Those are the ones that line up, right? Those are the ones, that's where it intersects. Okay? So what point is that? Is that negative one, negative two, right? The solution is negative one, negative two. Okay. Pay attention here. Well, this is one of your assignments, so you can argue this one. Oh, okay. You have to do this one for homework. 24. Let's pick a, a choose a method for this one. 7x plus 8y. 7x plus 8y equals what? 25. 25. And what's the other one? 9x plus 10y equals 35. Elimination. Elimination? Maybe. Yeah, this one might work well for elimination because they're both in the same form. Do you remember what form this is called? Standard. Standard form, right. Oh, None of them are solved for y. So if one of them was solved for one of the variables, that's a good time to use the substitution method, isn't it? Because then you, can know, you know you can substitute that expression. But let's use the elimination method on this one. What, what could we use for a common multiple of one of the terms? 40. 40? So negative 40y and positive 40y? So negative 5y. Or we could go the other way, right? Yeah. 
Doesn't matter. So let's uh, let's make this five, and then make this four, right? Or ne negative. Oh, negative four. I'm sorry. Yep. Now I'm going to rewrite them over here. Let's get rid of this, and I'll rewrite them over here. So this is thirty-five x plus forty y equals 125, and this one is negative 4 times 9x is negative 36x plus negative 40y equals, what's negative 4 times? Negative 140. Add those together. Now we add the two equations. So negative 1x plus 0 equals negative Yep. So it's going to be equal to 15. What was the answer for number 23? X equals 15. You'll have negative to redo one, it. Wait, okay, what? And then if X is 15, so let's plug that into the original. So 7 in parentheses 15, and then right. plus 8Y equals 25. Yep. Uh, let me make some more room here. So, so 7 times 15 which is 105. plus 8y equals 25. So 105 plus 8. Plus 8y equals, equals 25. So 25. So then solve for y. So minus 105 minus 25. That's negative. Or negative 8. So divide each by 8 and y equals 5. 8y equals negative. Oh, negative 80. 80. So then divide by 8, divide by 8, and you get negative What? Oh my goodness. Quiet, okay. please. Yeah. So 15 negative. Yep, and what you, method did we use for this one? So elimination. Uh, elimination. Elimination. And then you have to write that. Okay. So the first one we use graphing. This one we use elimination. When, would we, when did we say we'd use substitution? When there's like an x or a y equals something. Yeah, so in the third one, in 25. See, I told you that. Let's just go to this page. What's the, what are the, what's the system for number 25? Crasby? Uh, x equals 12y minus 14. And 3y plus 2x equals 26. 3y plus 2x equals 26. equals 26. Okay? Now, we know that x, what x is equal to. We have an expression for that. Right? So instead of writing the x, let's write the expression for x. We don't have to do it. This one works well for substitution because one of the variable, one of the equations is solved for the variable. Okay? So we know that 3y plus 2 times x, which x is 12, 1 minus um, 14. So 2 times 12y minus 14 equals 26. So realistically, 27y plus So 3y plus 24y plus negative 28 equals 26. Then 27y equals negative 28 plus negative 28. Sorry. Plus negative at 28, 27y equals 54, Four. so if y equals 2, then let's find x, then x equals 12 times 2 minus 14. Right? So oh, 24 and 
24 minus 14, and x equals 10. So the, write the solution. Always write the solution. Don't just leave them sitting there somewhere. And comma. Okay. So do 23 through 28 for tomorrow. Okay. 23 through 28. So you have three more problems you have to do on your own. If you didn't get all of the first three, then go back and watch this to copy them.